Shumai Blantos. Yes, I'm holding a microphone. Yes, it looks obnoxious, but I haven't quite figured out a way to set it up where I don't have to hold it as uncomfortable for me as it is for you. <laughs> How do you feel about that? You can't. You can't answer. Tomorrow is the 5th of February, Pimed o Chwevrot. Every year, we celebrate Welsh language. No, Deed Music Cymru, Welsh Music Day. Welsh Music Day. It is Welsh Music Day basically a way to encourage people to listen to more Welsh language music because it is out there. There's loads of it. You just gotta find it. I'm not gonna teach you any Welsh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the resources to go and find Welsh music quite easily. First thing I did, playlist. On Spotify, I created Miss O'Hare's Jamboree Cymraeg. There's about 12 hours of Welsh language music only on there. Yes. I did put one of my own songs on there because I like, I'm, I'm proud of my songs, okay? You got me. It's a huge mix of different genres, all from like the 70s up until now. There is a surplus of indie boy bands. Indie boys, reveal yourselves. <laughs> There's quite a lot of them. Next up, we have all the places you can go on Instagram or Facebook where it's gonna provide you with loads of Welsh music. The best one to go to, obviously, is music. This is the social media account dedicated to Deed Music Cymru. There are loads of interviews on there, loads of bands that you're able to just click on and just see them perform live. Actually, there's an interview with Rhys Evans on there at the moment, talking about how important Welsh music is to him. Next up, we have Horizons slash Gorwellion. It is a part of the BBC, which is dedicated to developing young Welsh Welsh artists, whether they do Welsh language or just Welsh English. They've actually just finished a series talking about independent venues. They go all the way from Bangor down to La Pub in Newport. Let's talk about Welsh record labels. We have Pist and Libertino. There are loads more, but those are the ones that I know the most about. Obviously, they're showcasing some of the bands that they have signed themselves. Speaking of Libertino, they partnered with Immersed Fest, which was a festival which is done by South Wales University of South Wales. Do you hear English Welsh and Welsh language as well? Libertino had a specific takeover stage where they showcase a lot of their bands. And, and, it was really recent. It was literally over last weekend. All of their live shows are on YouTube at, at the moment, currently, and on their website. If you're missing live music, that's the place to go because some of the shows were phenomenal. They were. Another place to go and watch some live performances is Loop Espadorek. Looks specifically at Welsh language music. You can go on their website, go on their feed, and you can look at a lot of live performances there. There's a podcast called the Welsh Music Podcast. One of my favourite things that they do is on their Instagram, they say, on this day this album came out, or on this day this happened. They talk about uh, some of the things that have new been newly released, but also things that have happened in the past as well. It's a great place to learn about Welsh language and Welsh culture within the music scene. Finally, if you're looking for a bit of both, if you want to just learn about the music of Wales in general, you can go to our old favourite, Radio. Adam Walton does a show and it's three hours long, jam packed boys. And also BBC Cymru are always doing music there. So tomorrow, go and celebrate Welsh language music. There is a plethora of Welsh music available and it is brilliant. Diolch Blantos for coming today. Really appreciate you watching my videos. Ta-da! I think I see you can step to the side. Ooh, girl. By the time I think you've had your time. I